The Vickery method of chiropractic and osteopathy evolved into what has become the Vickery method of healing because it's gone far beyond structural and nutritional relationships. <clears throat> One of the things we found out years ago is that the disc lesion is the basic unit of problem in chiropractic. Uh, the uh, relationship of nutrition to posture was easily found in a series of progressive investigations. This, avail this has been available for about 20 years now. We have just upgraded it from VHS to DVD. And yet nobody knows what we're talking about. What we're talking about is there's relationships between posture and health and disease. And that the le chief reason for people becoming diseased and having their spines break down is protein insufficiency, for which we have the perfect answer, which is platinum essential amino acids plus. Now, doctors uh, don't seem to be able to find a test where they can find these problems. Uh, it, the answer is in alternative uh, testing, which we have been doing for the last 30 years. And we found answers to things like MRSA staff, and we're now investigating drug-resistant TB, which most people don't even know they have, and most doctors don't even know their patients have. So those doctors who are interested in alternative medicine are going to have to set aside their prejudices, learn some simple and not so simple things, uh, translate the things either into electrodermal screening like the Vol machine and other machines that have followed it, or kinesiology, which is the quickest, fastest, cheapest way there is to find out how a person gets sick and stays sick on this planet. We're going to show you uh, how to find a simple protein efficiency that would take about three or four hundred dollars to do an amino acid profile, and we can do it. You see how long it takes. We're going to find out. If you come up here, we just do a test. Now, aside from on switching and things like that, uh, we can. Go right here, which is a representative point for pancreas. And when this is when the, this arm goes down, this person is protein deficient, like that. Now, can it be something else? Yes, but this something else may be a one percent of a 999 percent protein deficiency. So while recognizing that, the same thing, we found the point for sulfur a few years ago, and it's right here at the fourth interspace. You can do all kinds of chemical tests and urinalysis and everything else. I can do this in one second. And if this is a protein sulfur deficiency, this will go down too. Now, you can also go on the, on the pulse point for spleen pancreas. And that will go down. And there's another one where you can use one of the uh, stress receptors, which most kinesiologists don't even remember. Put uh, two fingers right there. Patient has to do this one arm goes down, we have a diagnosis of protein sulfur deficiency. Thank you. So we can take that all the way to testing for different kinds of bacteria. The worst things you can imagine we can test for. HIV we find. It took us a few years to get test kits for HIV because everyone was afraid to make them. We now have them and we've now cleared up HIV in latent form. And there's a difference between latent form and actual infection which we have already talked about. So we're going to give you the basics, and the basics are tied up in these four videos. The first one is how to diagnose a disc lesion. It's called a CCT. And uh, the second one is finding and screening for disc lesions, which is called the BEV test. Quickest, fastest way, best orthopedist test in the world, except the orthopedists don't know it yet. Chiropractors don't know it. Uh, there's evidently a blindness that has settled on the healing arts. Uh, they don't listen. They don't look. Uh, here's how to do it. If you can't do these simple tests, you should not be a doctor. You should do something else. Uh, the third one it begins the series of 16 different reasons why a person's posture goes crooked. And chiropractors endlessly pound these poor people when they should be finding this, the reason and correcting these. So the third one takes a few things like ileocecal valve, 
which is a key and has more infections in it than we ever dreamed of. Uh, a hidden cervical disc. Most doctors adjust these in the wrong direction. And the last one is all a series of the balance of the category one distortions, which is a mild scoliosis. And we will introduce each one and give you the key points. But if you could do this, you wouldn't have nightmare patients and you'd, and you'd clear up the nightmare patients that you have. So one by one, we'll introduce these to you and see if we can get you to catch up with 2,000 healing arts. Thank you.